Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the Product Specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Coleman Lantern Series 16FB. This is a nice, short, lightweight couples coach. We'll start off right over here on the dinette. So this is kind of unique, something you don't see in very many RVs, and that is your L-shaped dinette. The nice thing about this is it gives you a little more seating, almost uh, like the full U-shaped, but they're able to fit it in a much smaller RV like this one we're in. Uh, a couple cool features here, there is a table that you can pop up, that's actually stored in the back, I'll show you that a little bit later. Cool thing about that table too though is as you can see you don't have to have it here so it is nice and open and you can also take that table outside. If you want to form this into a sleeping area you can do that too, simply pull this out just like so. This cushion will come over. This one, you can see it's Velcroed up, which is nice. We just take that off the wall, flop it down, and that creates your secondary sleeping area. Now, granted, it's not huge, but if an adult wants to curl up or if you have smaller kids, again, that does create a nice bed. Another thing I like about this is the fact that it is on your campsite. So that way, when you're sitting here, you can look out the window there and see your campsite, not stare off at your neighbors. We take a look up top, you see you have some storage up above, which is nice, great place for board games, or maybe you wanna put some place settings up there, cups, things like that. Right here is your media receiver, and this unit controls the speakers here inside. It is a radio, and it's also Bluetooth capable. If we take a look in the back here, this is your TV setup. So you'll notice a couple things, one of them, you have a King Jack antenna on here. This antenna is nice, instead of having to crank it up and uh, you know, remembering to crank it back down before you leave so it doesn't break and fly off, this is a nice low profile antenna and all you have to do is turn it to find the best reception. Right along the back here is where your TV will be mounted. They did put a backer in the wall, so and they put a sticker there so you know exactly where to mount it. And then the corresponding connections are right up top. So in the back here, you have the mirror doors. Right here is your table. You'll see the straps there so you can strap it in so it's not flopping around during travel. But what you'll also notice is right up top here, you actually have three. There's one behind this table, another one over here, but three different coat hooks. That way you have a place in which you can hang your jackets up, you know, come in, toss your shoes in the bottom, hang your coats up. In a small RV like this, that's great, folks. That way it's not, you know, taking up all this entryway space. In the rear corner is the bathroom. You see right down here the foot flush lever toilet. Up above that you have a mirror. And then over to this side is your shower with a hand wand. That way it is nice and easy to shower up. You take a look up top, you see the skylight there as well as the LED light and a vent to help dry everything out. And then as we move up a little bit further, go into the kitchen area. You see you have a nice big pantry in here. This is something you often don't get on a smaller RV like this, so I like the fact they included it. You have a little bit of storage right down underneath there, and you can do a couple different things. I mean, definitely put some food in here, but it is a nice big storage area, so if you want to put pots and pans in there, or maybe some of your plates, you can certainly do that as well. And then we get into the countertop. So you'll see you have a lot of prep space right here. Now they accomplish this by giving you a single bowl sink as well as a two burner cooktop that is mounted vertically instead of horizontally. Again, that way it does free up all that extra space. You'll also notice you have an electrical outlet there in case you need to plug in any other appliances. And your tank monitoring panel is here too. That is something that you want to know uh, where that's at. That way you can monitor your tanks as well as your battery levels if you're not plugged into shore power. Right up top, you have a fully functional hood with a light and fan, microwave off to the side, and then this additional storage area right up top here. We take a look down below. You have a drawer, which is a necessity. You know, you have to have at least one. I, I like to have two just so you have a place for some of your bigger utensils, but you know, you can put some bins and stuff in the pantry, make other things happen, but at least you have a main one here for your silverware. Furnace is right underneath that, direct vent furnace is all you need, and then your fuse box underneath that, yeah. And then right over here you have some more storage, so again, as I said, if you want to put like a, you know, a little tote or something in here with some extra, uh, you know, your spatulas, knives, things like that, you can do that, or use that for smaller pots and pans, plates, whatever you need to. Cut out here is great for some of your smaller spices. And then right over here you have your fridge with your drop down freezer compartment. You'll see right here, the controls are there for you, nice and easy to use. Then as we take a look up front, this is the queen bed here. You have storage underneath, 
you can see that right there. Now it is a little bit shorter than your standard queen. It's what they call an RV queen. That way you have room to walk around here. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get past the dinette and they certainly don't want that. A couple things that I do like, you have windows on both sides as well as electrical outlets on both sides. So if you have to charge cell phones or tablets or plug in like a CPAP machine, you can do that on either side of the bed. You also see right here, you have mirrored wardrobe. You have a hanging rod going across on both sides. You have a place to hang your clothes. Shelf up top there so you can put some clothes up there too. And then additional storage going right across the top here with LED reading light underneath. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Coleman 16 FB. Starting right up front here, you have the 20 pound propane tank. Right behind that are rails for your battery. And coming up the front right here, you kind of have this uh, etched uh, plating on the front there, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get kicked up by your tow vehicle. One of the things I love about Coleman though, folks, is this right here. You have a three year structural warranty on here. That's the best in the industry. For an entry level product, that's just not something you ever see. So, you know, if you're looking to start getting into camping or maybe upgrade from your pop up and you're looking for something you could, a uh, company that will stand behind their product, you know Coleman certainly will, and that should be a great peace of mind. Coming around to the side right here is your solar prep. If you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels plug them in right there and you can trickle charge your battery. So if you like to do a lot of boondocking, that will certainly be beneficial. So we open up the front storage compartment here. You can take a look inside. Nice wide door as well. And the storage compartment is wide all the way through. So if you have bigger items like some of your wider chairs or grills, things like that, you can actually fit them in there. Making my back a little bit further here. Electrical outlet outside, so if you need to plug in, you know, cell phone or maybe setting up that uh, table I talked about, right? You can take that outside, set it up right here, put a crock pot on it, plug that in. Uh, it's just nice to have electrical access outside. Power awning on here as well. If you're used to a manual awning, folks, you will love having a power awning. You just uh, touch and hold a button to roll it out. Same thing to have it go back in. And there's an LED light strip on there too. So you don't have to hang up your own lights unless you really want to. All you have to do is flip a switch and it will light up your campsite at night for you. Right back here is your entrance. You have a uh, single step to get in there, nice and simple. And then as we make our way around to the back, you will see that you have your spare tire mounted right here on the bumper. Hopefully you never have to use the spare tire folks, but in the event that you do, it's a great peace of mind knowing it's riding right back here for you. It's really easy to get to as well. And as I mentioned, that is attached, uh, bolted onto your tubular bumper here, and the bumper can be used as a storage place for your sewer hose. So that way it's not up front rolling around with everything that you're going camping with. Just take off one of these caps, stuff it right in there, and it's a convenient storage area. Right down here is your termination. So, you know, th this one does have a black and gray tank on there. So when you're getting ready to dump, nice and simple, you pull up. You'll want to pull your black valve uh, first. That way you get all your solids out from your uh, toilet. And then you'll pull the gray valve here, kind of wash things out. Uh, but it is nice and centrally located. You only have the one termination on here. You don't have two. So it is pretty simple to dump. Right up above that's your 30 amp power cords just stored right inside the camper here. You also have your cable inlet right there. And then up front are your two water connections. If you have city water, that will be hooked up right here. If you're going boondocking or don't have water hookup and want to fill up your fresh water tank, you would put that right in there. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Coleman 16 FB. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.